Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Classes. My name is Aisha Mishra and I am working as a data scientist at Iron In this video, I will provide you with a detailed comparison between the data scientist, data engineer and the data analyst. After watching this video, till last, you will get the idea about the best job in the data field for you. So watch this video till last and without wasting any time, let's get started. So, data engineers, data scientists and data analysts seem to be different names for the same positions to many persons. But in reality, these positions involve a wide range of duties and skill levels. So honestly speaking, I have also had the confusion between these roles in the data field. And because of this, I have made mistakes in searching for the right job for me. I was just searching job that contains data in it, thinking that if I enter the field, the data field, then everything will get sorted without knowing the difference in responsibilities of these roles. The second thing, I had the misconception that if I like the data, then I have to become a data scientist. But when I started working as an analyst, like you have watched my video also, my first job as data analyst and worked on analyzing the data more than building models. Then I got clear that I like analyzing the data and not predicting the data. That's why I want you all to understand what exactly you are looking for through this video. So let's first understand the roles and responsibility of all three. So let's start with the data engineer and understand what is the roles and responsibility of the data engineer? So first responsibility includes data warehouse management. So they are the ones who create and maintain data architectures and make data accessible for operational and analytical use in business. As a result, they monitor the data warehouse and ensure its reliability. So second role is they will build and maintain scalable data infrastructure. What it includes, they create scalable and user-friendly data infrastructure for the analytics team and other departments of the company. So the third responsibility includes data integration. Business typically uses variety of software and systems and the need to integrate all the data together. From there, the data is extracted by other specialists who then use it for things like data analysis and modeling, among other things. So they take data from various sources and organize, integrate and extract it. Now the next responsibility is they should have the ability to handle raw and unstructured data. They prepare the design, how the data will get stored. They clean it, transform it and then store and maintain the data in data repositories. So they transform unstructured data into an organized format. Now, the next responsibility is building pipelines for various ETL operations. ETL means extract, transform and load. So the focus of data engineer is data ETL and it is the process of moving data from one system or database to another or from spreadsheet or feed to organized format. So like the relational database. Ensure and support the data architecture utilized by data scientists and analysts. So the data engineer enable data to be accessible in formats and systems that the data analyst and data scientist can use. The data engineer may be given instructions to conduct extra transformation on the data so that it is the functional for the end users. So that it is functional for the end users that is data analyst and the data scientist or researchers. So these are some of the responsibilities of the data engineer. Now let's see what are the responsibilities of the data analyst. Understanding the significance of the data, making sense of it and identifying trends are all parts of the data analytics. In order to construct and publish usable dashboards, this involves collecting data from the database using SQL, working with spreadsheets and scripting some data preparation for visualization using R or Python, any language. The data may then be piped to Tableau or Power BI. So that is the life cycle of the analysis. Now let's see the responsibilities. We have understand what is the analysis life cycle. Now let's see what is the 
responsibility first one pre processing and data gathering so the data analyst use the database query languages for example sql to retrieve and manipulate information they extract data then transform into consumable insights by means of different analysis data cleaning is the most important step for them before any analysis so first they clean the data set and then perform any kind of analysis next responsibility answering questions to make better data driven decisions so the data analyst will use statistical analysis and manipulate the data to analyze the data and get useful insights for answering business questions for example why we lost 20% more customer in july versus june also to make matrix reporting to answer questions like how many new cons like how many new customers did we acquire this year how much sales increased from the last month so these type of questions we can answer the data analyst will answer using the data insights now the next responsibility data visualization and dashboarding that means they will create dashboards and visualizations which includes the use of graphs and charts to demonstrate the trends over specific time periods compare the performance of various goods etc now the next responsibility is working with management so the data analyst have to work with the management also with the clients to understand the business requirements preparing reports and communicating with the business teams or stakeholder so the data analyst must write reports for each insight they discover while analyzing the data and they must share the findings with the team by creating a compelling story utilizing interactive visualizations and the reports and the team will then make the better choices best choices decisions for itself for the company based on the findings and the reports now let's see the last one data scientist roles and responsibility in short if you talk about the roles and responsibility data scientist will gather data do a variety of experiments using various machine learning and deep learning models and methods understand the outcome forecast the influence of certain data and convey the same to their organization peers so that is in short the responsibility of a data scientist let's see in detail a data scientist is required to perform certain responsibilities and the first one includes understanding the requirements of the company and formulating questions that need to be addressed this is something that all has to do based on the requirements they will collect the data from different sources next one forming data processing and that involves data transformation as well as data cleaning so they will gather the data identify sources of data that are useful for getting future insights and they will also work with data engineers to collect the data and that they have stored in the data repositories so they will also work with the data engineer for collecting the data next one using like they will use machine learning and deep they analyze a large amount of structured and unstructured data and use various machine learning tools to forecast and classify patterns in the data now the next responsibility includes increasing performance and accuracy of the models through tuning and additional performing like performance optimizations they work to improve the speed and accuracy of machine learning algorithms they create procedures methods and tools to evaluate and track model performance while preserving the data integrity so they stay up to date with the latest tools trends and technologies to improve overall efficiency and performance now the next responsibility is they will use the predictive models to improve customer experience ad targeting like advertisement targeting revenue generation and more they will create solutions and strategies that address business challenges the data scientist plays a crucial part in the development of innovative approaches to comprehend the consumer patterns and management for the company as well as solutions to address changing business issues such as the optimization of the product fulfillment and the overall profit
So these are some of the responsibilities and work that a data scientist, data analyst and a data engineer do. Now let's understand the skill sets that is needed for all these three roles. So let's start with the data engineer. So what is the skills needed for the data engineer? Let's try to understand that. A data engineer must have good knowledge of programming, should have knowledge of data warehousing and ability to develop scalable ETL packages. In-depth understanding of relational database and non-relational database should be well versed in SQL as well as NoSQL technologies like Cassandra or MongoDB etc. Solid understanding of operating systems. Big data technologies they should also know like Hadoop, Hive, Peg and Spark should possess creative and critical thinking and also some of the little understanding basic understanding of machine learning concepts too now let's see the skill sets of the data analyst data analyst should have a strong knowledge of mathematics including statistics data analyst require good knowledge of spreadsheets or excel they should also have the knowledge of the BI tools, for example, Power BI or Tableau, to create charts and dashboards. Modern data analysts also need to have some programming skills. They should also know either Python or R. SQL is must-have skills for them for writing queries, inserting and updating and storing data into database. They also need a strong analytical and storytelling skills. So they should be proficient in the communication of their results to the team. And they should also have the problem solving skills. Now the last one is the data scientist. Let's see what are the like skill sets of the data scientist. A data scientist require knowledge of mathematics, statistics. They should be able to handle structured and unstructured data. In-depth knowledge of programming languages like Python or R well versed in various machine learning and deep learning algorithms. Also have the knowledge of SQL and NoSQL. Must be familiar with the big data tools. And also a fair understanding of programming languages database and building data models. They also need to have domain knowledge and the dis like decision making and soft skills. So all these skills belong to the data science. Now I hope you get the idea about what is the sum of the difference between the skills of data scientist, data analyst and the data engineer. There are some skills that is required by a data scientist and data engineer but not the data analyst. For example, a programming language. A data analyst must have a good knowledge of mathematics, BI tools but they should have like programming language knowledge. So let's understand this in short. A data analyst should need not to be good in the programming language but for the data engineer they require intermediate level understanding of the programming language and for the data scientist they should be the master of the programming language as well as for the mathematics in addition with the knowledge of machine learning and deep learning. A data analyst will not directly participate in the decision making process rather than they will help the organization in decision making by providing meaningful insights. Data engineer will not at all participate in this process, but data scientist will actively participate in the process of decision making based on the insights and prediction they have. Now let's see what are the salaries of these three roles. So I have searched on the Google and I end up with like on average, a data analyst earns a salary of $67,000 a data engineer earns up to $110 per annum, like $110,000 per annum. And a data scientist, on an average, it will make, they will make $120,000 per annum so in a year. So these are some like salaries that I have searched on Google and on different sites, you will find different salaries. So it depends on companies to company, how much they offer to these roles. So these are some of the difference. I hope you get the idea about what are the skills, what is the salary, what are the roles and responsibility in which these roles differ. Data analyst will earn less salary compared to the data engineer and the data scientist. But all three roles are equally important in any business organization. So you can select any role as your career goal based on your interest and the skills you want to learn. 
I hope this video will be helpful for you to clarify all the confusion and the differences between all these three rules. Let me know in the comment section about this video or any further queries also for any video on demand. If you want me to like create any video on any specific topic, please also mention that in the comment section. And I hope you like this video and if you do then please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such related videos. Thank you.